one direction and uh, we were just praying and uh, Lise forgot her gloves in the tent and while she did that there's a direction that she's been asking me to go and I keep saying no no well while she went to get it in the tent the Lord put it on my mind to come this direction and so we did and it was a really both wore out from yesterday's hike after that ram and we got to the top and we're just fixing to have breakfast and um, just asked like why would the Lord bring us here and sat down and looked well it wasn't a typical yeah it definitely didn't look typical big ram country I put the glasses up and instantly spotted two rams at about eight miles away and we could totally tell that they were rams and um, right now we have a little ram oh I don't know he's down in down there somewhere. I don't know if you can see that he's down there. And um, from this distance, we're only maybe a mile from him, maybe not even. And um, it's kind of hard to tell that he's a ram. So at eight miles, we could tell the one dude up there was a big boy, I have to imagine. At one mile, I mean, you can tell he's a ram, don't get me wrong, but just comparing notes to what we saw is. I mean, I think the two that we saw were really big rams. So we have closed the distance at least in half. We have one huge valley to cross, but we kind of decided to set up and wait. We want to see him again. We only have technically tomorrow, and then Friday we fly out. So trying to be smart. Trying to make sure that yeah we can do this and do this um, safely and effectively. And um, we've expended a lot. But we've, we've also learned a lot. A lot. We've had a good time, and we've had a couple different stocks, which is fun. Yeah, and there's um, actually right behind you, the camera. There's uh, eight or twelve, eight to twelve, using lambs up on the mo mountainside, and one of our best sheep days so far, really, in terms of spotting sheep close enough that we could actually go after if you know if we had the time. Yes. So, and if that little guy over there was legal, we'd be marching down over there real quick. Anyway, the sun's out. We're just so thankful that the Lord brought us over here. We have caribou grazing in front of us. We have big bull caribou over there. It's just a beautiful panoramic spot. I'm so blessed to be out here. Praying that the weather holds today because yes. it hasn't been. It's supposed to rain. Maybe a snow mix. So we're praying that wherever we go, the clouds are open. And we get sunshine. Thank you, Jesus. Now, time for that. Coffee. Hi. Found the rams. We gotta make sure they're legal, so we're gonna boogie them down. When I say boogie, I mean take a couple hours. We have about four hours to cover, or four miles to cover. Hoping to do it in just an hour or two. And I say hoping because we gotta go way down and back up. So we're going to try to get at least two miles or three miles and then get another glass on them. They're in a spot right now that may not even be a killable spot. So we're just really praying that the Lord would move them to a killable spot. Down. And also that one would be legal. We're kind of going all out on this one. This is the final push. This is it. All right, bye. Said and done, we're going to be well over probably 10 miles from camp. So we're preparing also for a long night of packing meat and uh, just getting back to camp at some point, maybe in the wee morning hours. But we're going to give it what we can, and that's all we can do.
and not legal. Or really too close to call. Too close to call. That's what we'll call this episode. Too close too to close call. Too close to call. We are, um, in a way, it just feels uh, like this is our last day. We've hunted hard and we've really gone every direction. Every ram that we thought could be even anywhere, anywhere close to legal, we've gotten within almost a thousand yards. And um, we just know we gave it everything. And today we're, I mean, we're a good seven miles from camp. And so we're going to be hiking back to camp. And yeah, I feel like we did a pretty good job for just pretty much having one single camp and not doing multiple little camps. Definitely learned a lot. Definitely learned a lot. And, and honestly, we're in country right now that I did not think we'd see a ram that would be close to legal. It was pretty cool watching like stand up and stretch and like spend the time like examining it and just I feel like responsible making the call that it's too too close to call. So it's a little sad to leave empty handed, but at the same time we gave it our all and at least we're leaving with some meat with our caribou. Yeah. And now we're just hoping that we can get out before we get another winter storm like we did when we first got here. Yeah, so they're calling for a wintry snow mix uh, starting for tomorrow or Friday, I don't know which. So we've actually sent a message to our pilot asking if get any availability tomorrow to pull us out because we just feel like today <laughs> and that's okay like, it was a great trip it's, man it's so such a blessing the lord is just man that's such a blessing it's been such a fun day having the stock and then knowing that we can do it yeah that's pretty much the highlight of the trip because we right, can do this <laughs> right now we're a thousand yards and i would say we could easily close 500 yards and then where they're bedded, I think it's a little steep and rocky, but I think you could easily shoot them in their beds, and we could have gotten them. So, I mean, I, I'd like to paintball that sheep and tag it as ours, but I just feel like the safe and ethical thing to do at this point is to appreciate them, and we're just going to walk away because it's just too close to call. So. Sorry for eating. This is a crazy trip. Can't so, keep enough calories in. So, I think our <laughs> daily food intake has been around 1,500 calories. Uh, 1,000 to 1,500 calories a day. And we're definitely burning more than that. We're definitely burning way more than that. I'm and losing some weight. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to eat. And we'll, uh, we'll probably, do, probably talk at you one more time. Peace.